Good morning, YouTube. Fat Cat Collections back at you with another fragrance review. And today I'm be re reviewing or talking about one by the house of Polo or Ralph Lauren. And this one's called Polo Red. And this one's been out for about two years now. It was released in 2013. And the perfumer behind this fragrance is Oliver Gilatin, if I'm saying that correctly. I'm not really sure if I am. Um, this is a wonderful fragrance, guys. And, and if you're new to my videos, um, you know, what I want you to take from my videos is not necessarily am I going to be able to pick out all the notes because let's face it when you go ahead and look up all these colognes on Fragrantica or base notes <clears throat> you find so many people saying they smell like different things they pick out notes that aren't even there some will pick out notes that are there so everybody's nose is different and everybody can smell something different so I'm just going to give you my honest review um, these are not scripted videos I don't write a script some people have said you know I should call this script these are everyday ever average guy videos where I'm just telling you what I think about it and um Obviously, I have a love of watches, and I have a love of cologne collecting now, <clears throat> and I really enjoy sharing my passion with the rest of the world, and I think it's really, really helpful to listen to somebody else's opinion, maybe before you make a purchase. Maybe there's a cologne that I have that I really like. Maybe you share a similar nose um, uh, like me. Maybe we share similar noses that maybe some of the ones that are my favorites might be your favorites, and maybe if I recommend the cologne, you might like it. So, um, so let's talk a little more about it. I'm just going to tell you what... <clears throat> Excuse me. What they have, uh, base notes has it listed as as far as the notes in in the cologne, and and then I'm gonna tell you what I think I smell and whether or not I think it's worth the money or not. Okay. Um, so uh, a little bit about it. Uh, let's see. They considered a, a, a masculine fragrance by Ralph Lauren. Uh, pretty much everything I said already. Top notes are red grapefruit, Italian Sidrot. If I'm saying that correctly, yeah, man, guys, I butcher these names, but so just bear with me here. And red cranberry. You have heart notes or middle notes of red saffron, lavendin, lav, lavendin, red sage, and then your base notes are redwood, amber, and coffee, okay? Now, this is a great juice, and I got this as a sample from one of my wonderful coworkers, and it's definitely one I might consider replacing. Um, it's a little on the higher end for what I like to spend on clones. I'm more of the $20 and under kind of guy. I think there's lots of great clones out there that are either, you know, uh, uh, representations of more expensive ones, or just colognes that have been out a really long time um, that I don't really feel you have to spend a lot of money for a cologne. But this is a really good one. But to be honest with you, if I was going to spend the money on it, I'd probably buy Polo Supreme Oud because I'm more of the Oud and leather-based and woody fragrances. However, this is a very nice fragrance. Let me just give it a little whiff here. There's not much left in here. So, so definitely a warm, spicy. You could definitely pick up that coffee. This to me kind of reminds me of something when I smell it, I, and I don't necessarily mean another cologne. I just mean it, it brings up like a, a pleasant memory, and I'm not really sure which one it is. But it definitely, and just bear with me here while I, while I take a little more of a gander on this one. You can definitely tell it has a red quality to it, and that's probably the cranberry. Is it, was, it was a cranberry? I think it was cranberry in it. The red cranberry, red grapefruit. Um, I can definitely pick up the wood, and there's definitely that coffee note in there. It does have a familiar smell to me, like I've smelled something similar before, but let's face it, most of these clones all have something similar to them, you know what I mean? They're all just comprised of, a lot of them have the same notes, so you're always going to have some similarities. It's definitely a good one, folks. See, I, I definitely like the fact that you have that, that red quality to it, hence the name Polo Red. You definitely have like a, like that coffee note. I can definitely smell that. Although it is subtle, um, it's definitely in there. There is a sweetness to it and definitely a spiciness to it. Um, this I would definitely consider a, you know, a fall or wintertime juice. Although, you know, I, I've said before, I don't really believe that you can't wear these uh, in any time of year. It's just your personal preference on when you like to wear them. But I do understand that a lot of times people say, well, this is a fall fragrance or this is a, you know, a um, <clears throat> winter fragrance. And, the fruitier ones have to be summertime fragrances. I can understand where people are coming from with that, but um, I have worn this in the summer, and I got really great results out of it. Um, it's definitely a good juice, and it's a hard one for me to really pinpoint exactly what I'm smelling. But I definitely understand the red quality in it, and it almost has like a juicy kind of kind of uh, um, uh, scent to it. Uh, but definitely a good one. Um, you definitely, if you are a fan of uh, spicy fragrances, this definitely has that spicy note to it. I'm trying to think of something else I have in my collection that might be similar to it, but I just really don't. Um, one thing that kind of comes to mind is, let me just smell this real quick. I 
I just picked up, um, uh, I just grabbed my Perrell's Red just to smell what that smells like. They're, I think the only diff the only similarity I'm finding between those two is just the fact that they're both red and that, uh, and that there's, uh, which is maybe why I went to it, but there is a similar spiciness to it. So if you're familiar with Perrell's 360 Red, um, this is definitely one uh, that you might want to check out. If you're familiar with that particular clone and you like it, you'll definitely like this one because there is that similar kind of spiciness to it. I don't want to say there was cinnamon in it, but there's there's no cinnamon in this, at least listed in the notes. But there's definitely a... Let me just look at the notes one more time here. <clears throat> it might be the red saffron, but there is a real theme to this one here where, you, where they're having they're using a lot of notes that are, are considered red notes. I don't really know uh, if, if the color of a note has anything to do with the way it smells. Uh, it's kind of like saying a you know a red apple is going to smell differently than a green apple. I'm not so sure about that, um, but um, nonetheless, um, for the money, I think it's a little bit overpriced um, because, for me personally because I don't really want to spend that much for fifty eight dollars, sixty dollars for cologne. I don't think it really smells exotic, but it does smell good. So if it was something in the twenty dollar price range, I may consider buying it. But just for the amount of money, I think there's just just I think there's just too many other options for you. Um, that are, that are going to be cheaper, that are going to smell just as good. Um, that's really about all I have to say about Polo Red. I do think it's a wonderful smelling fragrance, but it's nothing that really, really is super unique. I mean, it's not something that I would smell on somebody and, and be able to pinpoint, oh yeah, he's wearing Perrell's, or, or I'm sorry, uh, Polo Red. So, um, but nonetheless, um, you be the judge of it. Go ahead and get yourself a sample. I think you'll definitely like it. I think this is going to be a very popular uh, juice. I think this is going to be a, a, a fragrance that... You're not going to offend anybody. Nobody's going to smell you and be like, ooh, it's just, I think it's a very safe scent, as they say, and I can definitely understand that with this one here. Um, not a bad scent by any means, though. So definitely check it out. Um, if you like it, you want to try it, you want to pick up a small sample or a larger one, uh, I put a link in the description to take you uh, to actual real-time listings where you can pick this stuff up for the best price. And uh, let me know what you think if you do pick it up. I definitely think you'll like it if you get it. I think across the board, it's not, like I said, it's not going to be one that people are going to, you know, you know, sometimes the oud-based fragrances, the woods and the musks, some people either like them, they don't, the tobaccos, the whiskeys, the boozy notes, some people just don't like that kind of stuff, they're very manly, this is going to be definitely popular, okay? So there it is, folks, Polo Red by Ralph Lauren, uh, check it out, and if you get it, tell me what you think, thanks again for watching, if you like the videos, uh, remember, subscribe to the channel, and as always, have a great day.